It's your mother's grave. They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. The mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about it. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in with her? Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of air. What is she? Alive or dead? Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension. It's a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Mm. They're sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I noticed. No, you don't understand. She, she doesn't belong here. I brought something through. I'm just... So sure it was her. Booker! 
Be careful, Black Cannon! long at all. It's done. It's a tear. There's something in there. Should I open it? What did you mean before you said Lady Comstock didn't belong? She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection. Um, I don't know. Money? Catch! 